Alright, good day mga NFT. Welcome back sa ating YouTube channel. This is your guy NFT guy PH. Ngayong araw, no, meron tayong isang exciting update mula sa Crypto Blades. Yung akala nating wala na pero mukhang magka-comeback pa. So meron silang major update at ito 'yun, no. Makikita nyo sa aking screen yung Ayan, 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 ayan. Rewards are back. So, i-enable ulit nila rewards. And the good thing is NFT bridges are established on all chains. Ano ba yung ibig sabihin nito, no? Ibig sabihin niyo, ito yung plano nila before to connect or um, move your character from one blockchain technology platform to another. Like for example, initially yung yung Crypto Blades nasa ano siya, no, BSC or Smart Chain technology siya. So, given na mataas yung gas fees and all, and yung congestion ng system, di ba? Nagdalag at patagal mag-load. Pwede ka nang lumipat sa ibang uh, blockchain technology, which is, yun nga, hindi congested and lower yung gas fee. Like, for example, yung Hiko and Polygon. So, in, ngayong video, didiscuss natin kung ano ba yung magandang in preparation no, for tomorrow? So, bukas daw nila i-enable to. So, guys, hopefully, uh, masses natin kung ano yung magandang platform, lower gas, PS, and all, na pwede natin lipatan ng mga characters natin para makahampas tayo at makabawi man tayo dito sa Crypto Blades. And hopefully, ito na talaga yung comeback nila, no? So before we start, don't forget to ayan, subscribe on our YouTube channel. I-click nyo na rin yung notification bell button para maging updated ka sa mga gantong klaseng video. Sige, ayun. Let's start. So ito yung announcement nila in Crypto Blades Discord. Rewards are back and NFT bridges are established on all chains. So ano ba yung mga applicable chain uh, blockchain technology na pwede to? So yung Meron yung Hiko, OKEX, Polygon, Scam. I'm not sure ano tong Scam. Siyempre yung Smart Smart Chain yung pinaka original. So today i-discuss ko ano ba maganda or saan ba pwedeng maganda humampas para at least ma-maximize natin yung gain natin given na mababa yung gas fee. So sa nakikita ko meron tayong dalawang medyo familiar and established na, na technology from the rest which is yung and confirm yung mababa yung gas fee no so yun yung heko and polygon so we'll be focusing on that too and we'll discuss on how to also uh, enable yung or i-create yung network nito sa metamask natin sa so, ngayon wala pa yung process into transferring this transferring yung mga characters or NFTs natin to another blockchain. But later on, probably we'll be creating another video. So, ayun. Let's start with the gas fee. Oh, ano ba yung mas maganda? I-compare natin no, yung Heko and Polygon. So, ito. Meron makikita nyo. Right now, I'm on the polygonscan.com and andito yung gas fee tracker nila or gas tracker. So, yung standard 40G way and pass is 65. So, medyo nagbabago siya. Siguro, depende to sa congestion ng system. And, ito naman yung sa Heiko. So, this month, ang average niya is around 10 G-Way. Ganyan. Pero, nag-peak siya somewhere around in January ng mga 75. So, paano ba kinukompute yung G-Way? So, normally, ano yan eh, di ba? Sa Ethereum yan, um, yeah, so let's say for example itong 50 G way no? ito kasi kinumpit ko na yung uh, 25 G way ito eh so kung 50 that's equivalent to 0 0.000050 50 G way so let me write it down here Hindi pala kita sa screen ko. Let me show my calculator, no? Ayan. Uh, ayan, 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 ayan. 
So, ayan. So, let's say 50 G-Way. 50 G-Way, no? Um, that's equivalent to... Zero... Ah, uh, buruin ko to. That's equivalent to 0.000... Limang zero yun, eh. Et. So, ayan. And multiply mo into... Magano bang Ethereum natin ngayon? Let's see. Uh, check natin sa coin gay ko na lang. Ethereum. In peso. Tignan natin. So, that's approximately around 216,000, no? And times 216,000. So, sa Polygon Matic, you will be paying 1 peso gas fee approximately for 50, around 50 GUA. And dito naman sa HECO, kung ang sabi nating average natin is 8.78, sabi na natin yung maximum which is around 10. I'd say, so 10 GUA which is approximately lagay tayong 5 zeros. 10, ayan. Times 216K. That's roughly around 4.216 uh, centavos, no? Cents. So, mas maganda yung, ano, mas malaki yung gas, uh, mas maliit yung gas fee na binabayaran natin sa sa HECO. So, yun, that's one pointer na uh, you need to consider. And also, uh, gano'n ba kadali kumuha or mag uh, set up ng HECO chain? So, ayun. You will need, I think you will need HT token to have in HECO. And then in Polygon, you need MATIC token. So, I think I have MATIC already. And yung HECO chain, uh, wala pa akong token. Pero I have set up the MetaMask. So, ito. How, how are you going to do it? Um, let's say you go to settings. And then, and then networks. So, first, I will add yung... Ayan, meron na ako dito. Uh, Matic main net. So, if wala pa kayo, just click on the add network and just paste this uh, values sa mga given fields, no? I will also put it in the description of the video na to. Para mas madali, kakapipaste nyo lang. And then, yung heko naman is this one. And you just uh, have to add it. And then, um, so every time you will be going to or hahampas kayo, you have to change yung ano mo, yung network mo to open a certain application. You need to consider kung saan network yung game nyo bago kayo mag, uh, mag um, laro or in crypto blades sumampas kayo otherwise uh, it will not detect your wallet and then ayun so so gas fee and all ayun mas labang yung heko i would say and and sa congestion and all sa rewards hindi pa natin sure bukas natin malalaman and probably i'll make a uh, part 2 ng video na to and also yung ano yung isa lang ang akin I, I will still try the matic no kasi yung sa matic sa mga wala pang matic uh, network or wallet meron kasi sa matic na mga pre uh, pre matic sa mga new joiners eh I forgot the site I will just paste it in the di description parang ano siya mga malit na value ng matic to help you create I mean uh, connect your wallet to a uh, Matic application initially kasi di ba yun yung mahirap sa BSC you have to transfer gagad ng Binance or BNB token in order to connect man lang or pumasok sa isang game unlike sa Matic merong mga site like yung faucet ba yung tawag doon na they will give 
ito, tomatic supply, they will give a little amount of matic para lang pang gaspin nyo sa umpisang transaction nyo sa polygon. You just have to uh, get the legit side and I will probably paste it on the description below. So, ayun. Yun yung sa matic. Ito, ayan. How much can you can get? You can get 0.005 matic. Which is uh, enough yan, I think, to um, do a basic transaction. Tignan nyo, you can do 100 basic transaction in the network. So, when you're trying, tomorrow siguro, when you will try to check kung ano yung mas magandang rewards and also kung saan yung mas malaking kita, you can try yung matic. So, hindi mo na kailangan bumili ng matic token panimula. Okay? So, ayun. Yun yung comparison natin ng Heko and Matic. So, before we end, probably kung hindi nyo pa napansin, meron din tong event, yung announcement nila para sa Six Stars, para sa Epic Comeback nga nila, Black Friday Frenzy nga. And you just have to click this link and um, do the task here. And, and basically, i-tweet nyo lang yung Twitter nya and retweet. Yung isang I mean, tweet yung news nila, yung update nila, and then retweet yung tweet nilang post, or yung tweet nila. And then, just add the Metamask Wallet ID para kung manalo kayo, you have a chance to have a 6-star token, a 6-star weapon. It's a, hindi siya uh, sure win, ha? it's a random. So, ayun guys. Quick update lang. Maraming salamat kung umabot ka dito sa part ng video na to. Don't forget to hit the like button kung nakatulong ito. And subscribe ka na rin para sa mga gantong klaseng video. So, ayun guys. Happy investing. Ingat sa pag-invest. And God bless. See you on my next video. Bye.